and Orion here. Um, I've wanted to do this for a really long time. I am going to have my own channel on YouTube that is called Crunchy Farm Girl TV. And on it I will share with you my farming life, my um, homesteading tips and tricks, um, my recipes, natural living, natural health, anything like that. I am wanting to share my life with you guys. I don't know if anybody cares, but I have a few people that have commented on the blog, and um, I just kind of want to expand a little bit. I feel like just blogging itself has been kind of a standstill lately for me. I I don't know, I like visual, because I, I watch a lot of bloggers, or vloggers, and I really like that aspect. I mean, you know, people don't necessarily comment positive things, but that's alright. Um... But I thought today I would start out by showing you guys some of our animals. Um, these are, lots of them are heritage breeds, and that's what we like. We like heritage animals. The new animals that are around today in the big factory farms, and even on some homesteads, are not the animals that our great-grandparents knew. And when we talk about traditional foods, everything has changed completely. Everything is being modified. Even our animals are being modified to grow faster, to um, grow bigger. And all of it is not healthy for them. And since we eat those animals, it's not healthy for us. So, um... One of the things I'd like to take you to see are our red wattle pigs. And we have one Russian boar pig also. And those animals, we are going to start breeding. And we want to have, um, we want to have her good heritage meat from our farm. And this is something that I would like to share with you. And I will show you in a minute. Okay, guys, here's our wet red wattle babies. And our Russian boar over here. And there's our other red wattle. Sorry, I have to go through the chain link fence. It's like five feet tall, and I'm only 5'5, five five, so. We got two girls. We will be breeding these when we get a boar. We won't be breeding this, these exact two, because we found out too late that these guys were, they're inbred, they're inbred brother-sister inbred, so it's too close for it to be safe to do it again, or to even get them a new war that's not part of that family. Even though they are inbred, they're still beautiful. Piggy piggies. Did you know that red wattles, there are only about 300 registered sows, breeding sows. Those are the girls that have babies. And since there's only, that'll be totally crooked for you, but since there's only um, 300, that means that there's less than them than red wattles, then there is a panda bears. Some people say that their meat tastes like beef, and I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but um, restaurants seek after red wattle meat. They also seek after Russian boar meat, and that's how this dude is. He's the same age as them, he just grows slower. 
It will take him two years to get as big as they will in one. But they've got access to pasture. I don't know if you can see the fence line back there. It's, it's a pretty decent amount. We've gone through and done a few paths with the lawnmower and it just keeps coming back there. They tear it up a little bit, but not. They're not going to do it like the ones that are in confinement will. They've gotten out twice so far. And I need your guys' help. I need to know how to get the pigs to stay in. Do you use um, electric? Do you bury your fence? They started digging over here where this chicken is, and we just put some cement blocks down, and they actually haven't been doing it too much because they can't move the cement blocks. But I imagine as they get bigger, they will be able to move it very easily. Yeah, you're a pretty girl. I love my piggies. Yeah. My camera will not zoom out, so. Sorry, you get all these close-in shots. <laughs> yeah, they don't really know what the waddles do. Some piggies have had them like bit off, or even some farmers actually try to take them off. And there's not really a reason for doing that, but um, pigs have had them cut off and they're still fine. But I'm going to leave them on. Just because that's the way that they were made and that's the way that they're going to stay. This is what real pork used to look like. See, they've got hair. I don't know if you can see their hair. It's not as dense as the little one. We call him pork chop. <laughs> but, um, it's not as dense as theirs. Yeah, you want some attention too, buddy? But, um, their hair, they should hold up to the winters really well. They're nice, dense, meaty pigs. Alrighty, well, that is all I have for you right now. Um, there will probably be some links in the blog post that goes with this video. And it will tell you a little bit more about the red wattle pigs.